Good afternoon, everyone. This is Michael Malley here with the Hurricane Outlook and discussion recorded on June 30th, 2023, occurred on 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We have a lot to talk about today, including Hurricane Beatriz in the Eastern Pacific Basin. We have hurricane warnings that have been issued for portions of coastal Mexico and a look at what's going on in the Atlantic Basin. So let's go ahead and jump straight into everything. Taking a wide look across the tropical Atlantic this afternoon, it is relatively quiet across the basin, finally. We do notice that we have a large plume of Saharan air kind of outlined by my cursor here, and you can actually kind of see it very well in the earlier morning satellite shots. This big plume of Saharan air that is out here in the middle layer of the atmosphere across the main development region. And so we'll be pushing eastward over the night or westward excuse me, over the next several days and reach portions of the Lesser Antilles and eventually could make it even closer towards Florida and the Gulf Coast states, providing for some really amazing uh, sunset shots as you progress throughout the next several weeks. Watching a broad surface trough, this is intermingled with remnants of Tropical Storm Sydney, not really expected to do much at the moment. And then in the Eastern Pacific Basin, we have two hurricanes ongoing. We have Hurricane Adrian and we have Hurricane Beatriz out here. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at both of those storms right now. A few things here going on for the Caribbean today. We noticed that there is a fairly decent tropical wave that is going to be moving through places like Trinidad, Tobago, Guyana, and portions of Barbados, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines, etc. This is going to bring some heavy rainfall and gusty winds from time to time as this tropical wave passes through. This is not expected to develop into anything of a tropical depression or storm, but again, heavy rainfall, gusty winds, and the potential for some flooding in spots, especially under any of the heavier convective downpours. And then additional tropical waves will be moving through the Caribbean over the next several days. You notice more tropical waves lined up here, several waves, one here, one here, one here. And this African easterly wave train is expected to continue. Got another fairly robust tropical wave that is going to be moving off the coast of Africa later today into this evening and tomorrow. And uh, again, none of these waves show any imminent signs of development. Pretty strong upper level winds and dry mid-level air from the Saharan air layer should prevent any significant organization of these tropical waves during the next couple of days. And then for our friends out here in portions of the Gulf of Mexico and the rest of the Caribbean, all is relatively quiet for now with just some isolated scattered showers and thunderstorms over the next several days. Taking a look here at both of our storms in the eastern Pacific Basin today, we have Hurricane Adrian over here off the corner of the screen. And then we have Hurricane Beatriz out here that is very close to portions of coastal Mexico at this point. So again, here's Hurricane Adrian right now. You can see this is a Category 2 hurricane on the Saffir Simpson wind scale. And this is continuing to move away from land at this point and will become a tropical storm once again in just a few short days. Uh, we noticed that this morning and in, in, into the afternoon, we've had a well-defined eye structure show up here in the visible satellite. There's this little divot here, and this is the eye surrounded by these higher kind of, or you know, colder cloud tops indicating that there is deeper convection rotating around, a much better and healthier look today than yesterday and then we have hurricane beatriz out here which is nearing the mexican coastline today we notice that the core of the storm is located somewhere within here at this point and we will have an aircraft reconnaissance uh, mission that is going to be going in there I, I think they could be in there right now we'll have to wait and see uh, but irregardless we've kind of put on the storm's wind radii this is uh, producing tropical storm force winds along the imminent coastline at this point in time. And the forecast wind radii is for there to be 34 knot winds extending fairly far inland with hurricane conditions expected along the coastline. This red outline here is the hurricane warning area and there is hurricane warnings all the way up here in the Mexican coastline. And again, hurricane conditions are expected along this area up and down the coastline throughout the day today and through the next several days. Uh, this eventually will begin to weaken as this approaches the Baja Peninsula here within the next few days. 
And right now, the National Hurricane Center is forecasting this storm to stay away from the Cabo San Lucas Resort areas. However, again, it should be noted that there is the potential for some heavier rainfall and gusty winds to the Cabo San Lucas Resort areas over the next several days. And you guys are within that cone of uh, kind of not uncertainty, but cone of standard error. Um, basically meaning that within this five-day period here, the center of circulation could deviate as far away as La Paz or as far away is to the well in south and west of the Cabo San Lucas Resort area. So there's a wide range where this system could be, but gusty winds, heavy rainfall expected for portions of the resort areas down there in the Baja Peninsula over the next several days. A lot of heavy rainfall expected from Mexico. Thankfully, we're not dealing with a very significant heavy wind event, but certainly very heavy rainfall expected. And in the Atlantic Basin, we do have an area to monitor right now. This has only been given a 10% chance by the National Hurricane Center to actually go on and develop into anything substantial. And I really don't think it is going to develop into anything significant at this point. Fairly strong upper level winds seem to be preventing any significant development over the next several days. But however, there is still going to be some heavier rainfall from uh, all the way up to Nova Scotia and Newfoundland. And this is as a result of this upper level trough out here and also being the remnants of Sydney located somewhere within this general area pumping in a lot of moisture for portions of Newfoundland and Nova Scotia. So just something to monitor over the next several days. But tropical development in the Atlantic Basin is not really currently expected. And a way to close this off here, looking at the GFS 850 millibar vorticity or the spin in the atmosphere at 5,000 feet off the ground. And overlaid here is the mean sailable pressure contours. Right now, there is nothing currently expected across the Atlantic Basin over the next several days. We will have to watch this tropical wave here that tries to spin up briefly within the next day or two here on the GFS model, but completely fizzles out here once it enters the Caribbean. Irregardless, this is still going to bring some of that heavy rainfall and gusty winds to portions of the island chain over the next several days, but... Tropical cyclone development is not currently anticipated with this tropical wave. And then in the Caribbean, we notice these two systems that will kind of be doing a dance around each other over the next several days with the potential for two additional systems to form as we start to get more, right, more larger scale rising motion over the eastern Pacific basin. All right. So that being said, I do hope you have a greatest of your afternoon and evening as always. God bless. Take care, everybody. Of course, I am Mike Romali. I'll talk to you guys again somewhere over the next several days.